Can't be like your attitude. Like, what's Because I do got an attitude. What do you what's want? What's the problem then? Why you got an attitude? Because I'm hot. You're hot. It is hot. Well, you chose to come outside. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're right. So you mad of your choice? A little bit, yeah. Take it out on me. I honestly asked earlier if we could go back to like a change because I am hot. We don't care. I mean, what makes girls in Texas better than other girls in the States? Like Every, any other girl in the States? Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything bigger in Texas? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like that. Stop the cow. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, he out of pocket. He out of pocket. If you don't get what he trying to say, you know, he basically insinuating that she got that pancake. I'm actually, I'm actually crying. I, I wasn't expecting that. Sometimes I don't be understanding. You ever come across a group of females and then one of them just be upset for no reason? Like, why are you upset? You're outside. It's not our fault that you couldn't make an adult decision and tell your friends no, you don't want to come outside. You're an adult. Nobody can force you to do something you don't want to do. But because you didn't have the guts to tell your friends how you really felt, now the rest of us got to suffer. This is the first human-made object that surpassed the speed of sound. And it's nothing else but a whip. When you crack a whip, its speed becomes twice the speed of sound. Meaning this small object can actually create a sonic boom. A son <laughs> Where are the white folks at? Sonic boom is when the barrier of the speed of sound is broken. The whip is designed in such a way that the energy you apply at the handle gets doubled as it moves down the length of the whip. This process continues until the tip of the whip, where the most force is applied, resulting in a speed so high that it surpasses the speed of sound. When was the whip invented? I don't want to, like, have no controversial speech, right? But y'all ever really think about slavery? If you really think about it, it really wasn't that long ago. That's kind of why I be upset when I see young black men just wasting their freedom. Because it wasn't that long ago, you didn't have the opportunities that you have now. Can I get one, uh... Blizzard, please. Would you like to round up your order? No, them kids. So if you serve it upside down, it's free, right? Flip. Now it's free, right? Why well, would you it's do that? Now. Can, I get, can I get a refund? Can I get a refund? Can I get a refund? Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Bro, hold on, 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 hold on. Going viral is not that serious. That's the first thing. Secondly, TV, I don't know if you're looking at this video. If somebody walked in the back of our store like this, a random customer, I guarantee you that he was not making it out that store. Now, you got to think about it. We worked with females also, so we wasn't allowing that. I remember the freak. No way. This is fake. This gotta be fake. There's no way you recording yourself committing a crime. This is robbery, bro. You just robbed a store. Dude, if he looks again, I'm gonna wave. If he looks again, I'm gonna wave. Honey, he'd been looking. But if he's married. I literally will. I'll be like, should I do this or should I wave? Should I do the head roll? That's so ballsy. Oh, he looked again. No, I got scared, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> I don't see a ring on his finger. If he comes over and he'll be like, hi. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Well, you know. I would take this over gym content that we see online of women just, oh my God, he's being creepy. He keeps looking at me. Did you hear what she said? If he look again, I'm going to say hi. He probably handsome. I wonder if the energy would have been the same if he was Huff. This created a somewhat comical moment. And I stand behind a statement that I once used when I say that women have no game. Once y'all get comfortable and y'all are able to be in that situation, y'all know how to manipulate some shit. I'll give y'all that. Y'all know how to use that poom poom to get what you want. Let's say we went on a blind date. The dude couldn't see you and you had to win him over 
by pure conversation. By show of likes or by show of comments, ladies, how many of y'all are confident that your mouthpiece would get this man to fall for you? God. Have you ever been caught by a mouse trap? When I lived in Grenada, I accidentally stepped on a mouse trap. That is the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. And I was younger. I had to have been about seven or eight years old. I had my slippers on. I think the what really protected me was the fact that I had my um I had the little thong slippers, like the little thong sandals, the flaps. So when it came down, it came down on top of the straps. But I still felt it. Top five most painful moments in my life. All I'm saying is I have never once been asked by a man who could actually be a provider and who actually has money what I bring to the table. It has only ever been by men who usually make less money than me and have absolutely nothing to offer. Be so fucking for real right now. I mean, this is a new thing that I've been hearing since the podcast world is becoming more popular. A group of men who call themselves alpha males, they're asking females what you bring to the table. And I feel as though that's something we need to think about. I'm not red pill, but I do feel as though that's something we need to think about. That's something you need to think about while you're talking to a young lady. What value is she adding to your life? What value is she adding to this relationship? I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. You want to have your cake and eat it too. That's what it be. You like, got to stop using that saying. No, you want to have your cake and eat it too? Is that not the point of having the cake? You just having the cake to admire it? No, they're saying like you want to literally have the cake and, eat and also pie. eat it. Like you want the cake, yeah. but you want to also eat it. Why else would I want the cake though? No, like you say, I cake, you, say I give you cake, you can't eat it. What's you the point the of giving it to me? You're pissing me off. Nah, How? I get, I get no, 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 no. First off, that's not the, the original saying. Before I even tell y'all what the original saying is, her explanation does not make any sense. If she had said, you can't have your cake and try to eat mine's, like the saying should have been, you can't have your cake and try to eat mine's too, right? That makes sense. But I bet you a lot of y'all did not know the saying is, you can't have Kate and Edith Two, meaning that you can't have Kate, which is a woman, and try to have Edith, which is another woman. That's what the saying is. I was having this conversation with my wife one day. I'm like, yo, this, this, this shit doesn't make any sense. You know what? I think the government be listening. Because a lot of times we be talking about shit, and I swear to God, it be popping up on my feed. He's saying, I get what she's saying. But it's like, you, you, you got the cake, but you eating a piece of pie as well. Nigga, just eat the cake. You see what I'm saying? But stay saying, like, you got a cake right here, but you eating another piece of cake. You see what I'm saying? That's not what she's saying. Not That's not what she's saying. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm not it for no I'm reason. Not it. No, I'm not being technical. I'm just saying the shit don't make sense to me no more. You want to literally have your cake and eat it, too. What's the point of having Why cake would I? not going to eat it? Right Thank here, you. We might, you might, we might be missing the word. Yes. You no, know, I feel like I just don't know how to explain that. Like, I just, to me, it makes sense. That's the. Direction. But they say it's not even like a. Uh, that's not even what it says. Originally, it was like you want to have your cake and eat it too. It's two. It's two girls, women. How do you know the original saying? But try to explain. The fake one, so you know what the original saying was, and you getting upset trying to. Explain the fake one. If a man invites you over for Netflix and chill as a first date, rob him. Because, like, why does he feel so comfortable inviting strangers to his house as a first date? By robbing him, you're teaching him a lesson that Netflix and chill should not be a date. Hello. I 
I would not survive in 2024 if I was single. Because that's what was going on when I was single. Come to the crib and chill. She does have a point. Just inviting a stranger to your crib. But I never saw it like that until, you know, later on, as the internet got more popular, I started seeing people getting set up by females. Females will come to the crib and they'll have their homeboys waiting in the car. You'll get comfortable. And now they homeboys coming in there, it's a home invasion. I never thought about that when I was younger. The only type of home invasions I knew about, bro, was that was selling weight. They was in the trap house. They trap house was getting invaded. 